Well, good evening again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome along to Capra's TV for round four of the Intra Super Cup between the CQ Capras and the Ipswich Jets. My name's Cam Stallard. Joined alongside Walson Carlos for this game. Walson, good evening to you. Evening, Cam. Looking forward to this game. It's going to be a, uh, a great clash. It's early in the season and uh, both sides' seasons are well and truly alive. They certainly are. Let's have a look at the two teams for tonight's clash. First of all, the home side tonight. There's a couple of changes. Uh, as you'll see, we'll run through the team for the Capras. The fullback is... Uh, uh, Zach Foster, the two wingers, Junior Kurosomi has come in for Kenny Toffolau and Chanel Sagafo will be on what was believed to be the left side tonight. Connor Broadhurst and Nathan Bassani are in the centres. Blake Goodman and Aaron Tiroy are in the halves. Bill Cullen and Jerry Key up front, Billy Gilbert in a dummy half. David Cohen and Dave Taylor are the two back rollers alongside Jamie Hill at Lockford. On the bench, Tyson White, Brad Lupai, Luke George and Aaron Flanagan's come in for Phil Nardi and they are coached by Kim Williams. For the Ipswich Jets, we've got Michael Purcell, the fullback, Denzel Burns and Wes Conlon are the two wingers, Pio Secchi and Rory Humphreys are the two centres, Julian Christian and Dane Phillips, the two halves, Tyson Lafipo and Nate Neal are the uh, two front rowers, Kieran Mosley's in at dummy half, Ben White, Seb Pandy, the two back rowers alongside Ben Shea, and on the bench, Sam Kaslick, Jaden Connors, Rowan Winterfield and Mitch Carpet around at the 17, and of course coached by the Oct iconic Walker Brothers, Ben and Shane. So the Ipswich Jets have made their way out to the middle of the park. We're just waiting for the home side here. Wall, your thoughts on the match? I'm really excited about the game, Cam. Uh, I think it's going to be a free-flowing game. It always is when the Ipswich Jets play footy. I love the way they play their footy. Um, they're a really exciting team to watch, and uh, the Capras have started the season really well as well. Uh, they have one win and two losses, but... Uh, Last week, uh, as the coach Kim Williams said himself, it was probably one that went begging. They really should have won that game against Mackay and Mackay. They dominated for the majority of the game and then just gave up a late try and and uh, got skinned by a late penalty there. So 18 points to 16, they went down, but um, they could easily be 2-1. and one. So I think they'll uh, put up a good challenge against the Ipswich Jets. Of course, the Ipswich Jets, they move the ball around a lot and um, there's some really exciting play to be watched by them. We hope that we've got some viewers there from the Ipswich Jets Club that are tuning in to see how the boys go, but um, players to watch. I, I've been really impressed with Julian Christian in the footage that I've seen, the 5-8 for the Ipswich Jets. Uh, of course, they had the TV game against the Townsville Blackhawks, and uh, he's electric. He's going to be really hard to handle for the Capras boys. Um, Jerry Key for the Capras, the big front rower and the captain. Um, he was a real standout last week against Mackay. He leads from the front. And he's a hard worker, so um, he'll be one to watch as well for the Capras. Not too far away from kickoff. Good crowd in here at Brown Park. Wall, as you'd expect, for some Easter Thursday footy. Yeah, Easter Thursday. Not often we play on uh, on the Thursday, so it's good of the uh, Jets boys to be accommodating and make their way up to uh, Rockhampton for this game. There is a good crowd here. Of course, everyone's got a public holiday tomorrow so there's no reason not to be here I can see a bit of a crowd building up at the Rockhampton Leeds Club one of the major sponsors of the Central Queensland Capitals. It's the one that got away from them last Saturday night Walson wasn't at 18 points to 16 a game the Capitals should have won up there in Mackay. Yeah shoulda coulda woulda but um, the points have gone with the Mackay cutters and they've got to put that one to bed and they've got to come out here and they've got a challenge on their hands so we know the Ipswich Jets have a very very unique game plan where they try to they focus more on not so much on completions but time in possession so they move the ball around they run sideways a lot with the ball but there's method in the madness and uh, they tend to tire teams out so um, the Capra's team their fitness is really going to be tested tonight and um, they're going to have to really show up in defense Certainly. Now, we do apologise for that noise in the background. We're trying to get the refs comms in because we've got two referees tonight to make things a little bit funner. So we do apologise if there's a few clicking through the call and all that. As you said, we are trying to get the, uh, the referees comms up and going. But looks as if Ipswich will kick off towards the league's club side. So Tyson Bruff's our referee tonight. Our assistant referee, Ethan Mention, Alex Mallory and Matt Noyan are the two touch judges and I iconic Ipswich have started with the kick out kickoff that has gone dead. Yeah, I think they were going for a short kickoff into the wind. 
um, and he's just shanked it. And uh, Dave Taylor didn't even have to move. It sailed way over his head, so they went out by about 10 metres. So good start for the Capras, uh, not so much for the Ipswich Jets. They're going to try and find touch. There is a big tail breeze. I reckon it's around about a 10, 12-point breeze, Cam. That's behind the Capras, so they're going to have to take advantage of it in this first half. So it'll be Bassani. He'll take the tap and give it away to the rampaging Dave Taylor. He gets the offload away. Bassani throws the dummy. Here he goes. Can Capra score early on in the piece? He'll be wrapped up. He's about uh, well, about a metre short of the line. In an acting half was uh, Kirasomi there. So they'll fire it through, and that'll be Bill Culler now with the ball. And he'll be wrapped up 15 metres away from the line. Gilbert at dummy half. Goodman on the inside hill. Didn't he have a game last week? Jamie Hill, 18 runs, making 145 metres. And at lock forward, Gilbert rushed up there at dummy half. It'll be a penalty, though. The markers were way too quick. And they were called offside by referee Tyson Bruff. First penalty of the night, right in front of the post. But they're going to opt to tap, which is the right thing to do. So Hill will be the man bringing it first up for the Capras once again. It's that goal line defence from the Kipswich Jets who muscled up. And they're kissing the left up right. And the interest super post was tapped. Gilbert, a couple of steps out of dummy half, in a way to Taroy, gets it away then to Foster, and he's put on his back. Ten metres away from the line. Gilbert, back on the inside again. Now the prop four, Jerry Key, the captain tonight. And again, it's wrapped up and put on the ground. Nine metres away from the line. Gilbert, having a bit of a look, he'll fire it through to Cullen. Cullen throws the dummy, runs back on the inside, open space, scores! Billy Cullen, first try scorer tonight for the CQ Capras. They lead four points to nil, two gone. Yeah, plenty of class there from Bill Cullen. He's just uh, holding the ball out in two hands like, uh, like a halfback. He's showing the ball to the outside and he's slipped through. He's had a great preseason there. He spent most of the preseason with the Canberra Raiders and uh, in the end they didn't end up signing him and he's come back to the CQ Capra. So it was a great buy late on in the season for the Capras and um, he's got first points. I'm pretty sure he scored first points a couple of weeks ago too, Ken. Yeah, it was here in the North Devils he scored first. I think that uh, experience with the Canberra Raiders in the preseason has really done him wonders as well. Yeah, nice crisp service there from uh, Billy Gilbert as well. Of course, they got the opportunity on the back of the, the ball going out on the full, but that is the Ipswich style. They do play a rushing defence on their line. They, they don't mind defending on, off their own line, but uh, they rush up, and if you can get in behind a player, it puts a lot of pressure on the inside player to make the tackle. And um, on that occasion, he threw the dummy and he isolated a player and uh, he was too big and too strong. Perfect start for the home side, the Capras. Up four points is an hour kick for Connor Broadhurst. Thanks to the lineup. Take the conversion. Thanks to the One Life Centre for bringing round four of the Intra Super Cup here at Brown Park against the Jets as Broadhurst slots it over the black dot. 6 0, Capras lead. Three and a half gone. Yeah, the challenge here, Cam, will be to see what uh, what do the hip switch jets do off this. I, if I if I've watched enough footy from them, I think they're going to go short again. They like to push the boundaries, the hip switch jets. I'm sure, we've all seen that over the past few seasons that they've played footy, particularly under the Walker brothers. So, what are they going to come up with here? They will go for one of their short dropouts. And it looks like they've come up with the ball. So there we go. Great work by Purcell. They've done very, very well. So they'll work their way forward here. I think we're going to have a challenge with their numbers on their jerseys again, like we did last week, Walt. Uh, that's Seki there who will play it through to Mosley, I think it is. So now they'll walk, 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 work the ball forward. I think that was their captain, Neil, who brought the ball forward. So now to be into the 5 8 in uh, Christian, who turned it back on the inside. It's their lock forward, she, Shea, who uh, is wrapped up eight metres away from the line. Mosley dummy half goes through, and that's Dane Phillips. He'll uh, get it away. They'll get a penalty, though. They were offside, will be the call from referee Tyson Bruff. First penalty for the Jets. Yeah, Bruff just stamping his authority there. They're moving on with it quickly. So, here we go. They throw the dummy once and twice, and that'll be Seb Pandia for the Jets as he plays the ball. 
So they'll get it away. And that'll be the left, left forward, Ben Shea. Getting around it, but the cold train, Dave Taylor, wrapped up again. Mosley at dummy half, goes back onto the inside. Now the big prop forward knot in uh, Lefipo. He's wrapped up on the line, about one metre short. He's slow to his feet here, Lefipo. So we'll finally play it. Mosley, dummy half, Phillips puts it on the boot, into the in goal area. Kirasomi's got a bit of work to do. Great tackle from his opposite winger. And that is Denzel Burns who's made the tackle. And it'll be a repeat set coming the way of the Ipswich Jets. Yeah, it was a good result for the Jets because it was a terribly slow play, the ball there. They seem to get... Uh caught up there near the line. Dave Taylor's having some words with the referees. That's almost gone viral this week, uh, Cam. The Dave Taylor having words with the referees. So it should be interesting to watch tonight. Yes, it certainly has. <laughs> Little words to Timmy Rutherford last week. Here he is, the Coltrane. So he's gone for a dropout. It's gone 35 on the fly. And it'll be picked up by Julian Christian. And uh, he'll work it away. Jerry Key in the tackle with Ben White. He wrapped up for the Jets, of course, coming off that win against the East Tigers, 32 points to 26. Now their captain in Nat Neal, still working the ball forward. They get him on his back, though, the Capras. 25 metres away, Mosley. Fires it through, Phillips back on the inside once again. They'll run the ball forward, Lafipo, it is the big prop forward on the left side. Gets the ball out the back somehow, picked up there by the second rower in white. Fires it long to Secchi. Uh, he'll be held up. Five metres away from the line. And they get a penalty as well. Hand on the ball, according to referee Tyson Bruff. So it'll be Phillips who'll take the tap. He'll do so. And get it away. It's White. Gets it away Con, uh, to Christian. Fires it back on the inside then to Purcell, who's in the line. And uh, it'll be wrapped up. 10 metres away here, the Ipswich Jet. 6-0, Capra's lead. Seven and a half gone. Christian on the inside. Neil. Wrapped up. Mostly dummy half. Comes out, runs it. Links in then with Phillips. Back on the inside, they turn it. They fend one and two, showing the ball. Then they'll go back on the inside once again. Christian going for the try line, but great tackle from Connor Broadhurst. It's brought him down two metres away from the line. Looking to play it quickly. Acting half Humphreys. Fires it away then to Mosley. Back on the inside. That's their lock forward, Shea. Sorry, their second row of Pandia. Seb Pandia. Tackled eight short of the line. Mosley then to Phillips. He'll run the ball on the boot. Trickles it into the end goal area. Picked up by the fullback, Foster. And they'll get yet another set of six here, the, the Ipswich Jets. Yeah, discipline play there by Phillips. He is a clever, clever halfback. He's just uh, sat on the back of that set. They've thrown plenty at him there. And the Capras have had to work really hard. Again, Dave Taylor talking to the referee again. Um, he's got plenty to say out there. Not sure there's too much in that. But um, Phillips put the grubber in, and they're really, really building pressure. There's no shot clock in the Intra Super Cup, so they're having a fair break here, the Capras. But you can see that they're getting tired. Two sets in a row here, Ken. So the Coltrane will kick. Better drop kick this time. It's gone about 55 metres on the fly and he brought forward now by their second rower in white. So he'll look to show the ball a couple of times before finally bringing it to the line and he'll be put on the deck. Mosley waiting at the wing. Short side is where he'll go. And uh, I'll run through here. As he tries to hit the line, he does well. Hills the man. He's going to wrap it up finally. And it's Denzel Burns. He'll play it 25 metres away. Mosley a dummy half. Then they'll link it in. That's Pandia. Wrapped up, though. Second row, Dave Cowan. In making the tackle. So Mosley it is. In a way, Christian throws the dummy. On the back on the inside there to Humphreys. He's going to run around. We like him switch. They don't, they don't play to a side. They play around the park. Expect anything here. The Capra's defensive line. It's their third set in a row here. And a good tackle around the ball there from Zach, Zach Foster. Oh, they're in trouble here. Mosley's got no, there's no markers. If he can play the ball quickly, Mosley will have a crack here from Dummy Arnold. Done a very good job there, Foster, to slow the play the ball. Mosley on the inside. Oh, no, they've lost the football. Picked up by the Capras. Well, well done. Home side, love it. And the cult hero, Billy Gilbert. Yeah, great defence by the Capras. They've hung in there. They threw plenty at them. Um, and they were testing them back on the inside, but they scrambled in defence and they got the result. So you get on to QRL.com.au. There's a good story about Billy Gilbert online. Halftime 
tonight. Be sure to read that as Nathan Bassani. Got to be careful with that touchline on the eastern side. He's been able to be uh, find the earth. 35 away from the line. Gilbert it is. Fires back on to the centre field. That's Dave Taylor going through. Rampaging, trying to fend off one. He's able to fend off the captain, Nat Neely. Still going. It takes four blokes for him to be put on the ground here. The cold train, Dave Taylor, wrestling. He's slow to his feet. He's still having a bit of a word to referee. He plays it. Gilbert it is. Back to Key. He runs forward. And he switch again. Three men in the tackle. Bringing him just short of halfway. Gilbert to the right. It'll go to Goodman. He'll run at the ball. Suspected that on the fourth he was going to kick it. He's done a majority of the kicking in the first three matches this year, but he doesn't put it on the boot. In fact, it'll be Foster. It's gone up high. A bit of a test now for Purcell. Running. Takes it well, though, as you'd expect from the classy fullback. And a good set of six. Capra's on top early. Six points to nil. 12 gone. Yeah, the Capras are, are doing well at the moment. They're completing their sets and they're testing uh, Ipswich out. The Ipswich have been up to it in defence, uh, apart from that first try. So um, we'll see how they go on this set. Humphreys plays it through. And, uh, we'll work it through. And it was uh, Christian there, runs the ball back into Humphreys again. They're losing metres here while running, trying to find a hole in the defence. Again, it's... Very unstructured play, as you'd expect from Ipswich. Yeah, but it's taxing, Cam. You, you can't ever get a break. You know, everywhere in the fence, they've dropped it here. So Let's make an error. Yep, yep. That's where they get their break. But what it does is it tests out the defence mentally. You've always got to stay on your game because th they can run from one side of the field to the other. So you never get a chance to clock off. And and I think that's the uh, the method behind the madness of, of the Ipswich Jets. They've uh, given up some field position here. And it's a good chance for the Capras to... Uh, get some more points. What do you reckon the, the Walker brothers obviously oh, it's well publicised in the media that they were very interested in that Gold Coast Titans job. Do you think that would have been good for the good for the role in the NRL club? Oh, I would have loved to have seen them get a crack because I love the style of footy that they play and they do something different and um, it is a bit the same in the NRL. We see that. You know, we need to um, we need to have different game styles as we see Connor Broadhurst showing plenty of strength there. He's going close to the sideline there. And able to be wrapped around 35 metres away. Gilbert it is. Back now to Junior Kurosami. In for Kenny Toffolau. He's having a bit of a breather tonight. Of course, the four-day turnaround. Gilbert again through to Key. Wearing number 10 tonight. Up in the front row. The captain. 20 away, Gilbert. Back through Aaron Tiroy's got the ball. Then Goodman to the line. Taylor it is. Again, trying to fend off the boys. He still goes. Oh, no, he's lost the football, Taylor. And it'll be deemed a knock-on. So he was yeah, able to get away, but he just couldn't complete. No, nah, it's just unlucky there, Cam. Um, he's had a barnstorming start to the game, Dave Taylor. He's really on. He's playing better than I've seen him play for the first three games. So he looks really on. Um, he just needs to uh, forget about the referees because he's had a fair bit of dialogue with them in the opening minutes. And... Um, get on with the game but yeah he looked like he's really troubling the Ipswich defence there on that right hand side Capra's leading 6 points to nil 14 minutes gone here at Brown Park round 4 of the Intrust Super Cup it's all thanks to the One Life Centre as Cam Stella and Walson Carlos bring you the game here on Capra's TV as Ipswich off the back of the scrum they look to work the ball forward Mosley it is a dummy half go through and, uh, Neil it is Loses it again, and well, I'll tell you what, the Walker boys would not be happy with the errors that Ipswich have made in this opening 15 minutes of footy. No, they wouldn't be happy, but um, this is the way they play, you know, and they uh, they dance with the devil a little bit, the way that they go. Nat Neal's actually the most prolific offloader in the competition through three rounds, so um, I don't think they'll be asking him to put away the offload, but uh, on that occasion he tried to offload, and there was plenty of players around the ball, and uh, he coughed it up, so... You Capras make, get a great opportunity here, Cam. You make mention of that 11 offloads for the competition over the first three rounds of footy, so we certainly want to watch. They only completed at 66% last week, the Jets. Whereas the Capras completed at 80%. That's second half, 88% wall. And you'd expect, as we said last week, uh, you'd expect a, a club, a team, to be at completing at 88% to... Uh, to win a game, but it just couldn't happen for them last week. I think the penalties hurt them a little bit too much, the Cappers. Yeah, they blew it. It was ill-discipline, and um, they're ruining that, but they've come out tonight, and they've started on fire. 
Here we go, Foster to Bro Broadhurst. He goes, he throws the dummy, he shows and goes. Still going, can he get the ball on? He does. Connor Broadhurst scores try two for the Capras. They're up 10 points to nil, 15 gone. Great work by Broadhurst there. He just showed plenty of strength and pace there to get outside his man. Threw the dummy to the winger, one on one, and slid over. He had too much strength there for Purcell, so what a start by the Capras. They've been blindsided of the Jets, 10 points to nil, Capras ahead. What a run there from Connor Broadhurst. New to the Capras in 2018. Not only can he kick, but uh, he can run as well as we've seen there. Well done on the left-hand side of the field. Yeah, there wasn't a lot doing there, but um, he just took the ball and he showed too much pace and strength. Um, isolated a player and Purcell had the pace to get back to him, but he couldn't He couldn't stop him from scoring the try. He's, he's um, a really def really good defensive centre, uh, Connor Broadhurst. Uh, people would have seen him playing for the Burley Bears, but he is from this area. He's a Blackwater boy and uh, he's got the goal kicking string to his bow as well so um, he's a great boy for the Capras in 2018 Tough kick from basically the chalk on this western side of the field but he'll have the home crowd behind him Fair breeze that uh, he's kicking with though Yeah like I said Cam um for the Ipswich people watching at home, don't I, the, I don't think they would be because uh, they always think that they're in the game. But I wouldn't be losing too much heart. This is a 10 to 12 point genuine breeze. It is a significant breeze. Looks like the Yapoon Doctors come across here early for the Easter break in Rockhampton. We had a bit of a sprinkle of rain in the earlier curtain raiser game in the under 13s. And congratulations to the Gladstone Raiders who got the points there as Broadhurst kicks it. It looks good. But unfortunately, it just goes to the left upright. It's waved away. Score will remain at 10 points to nil. Favour of the CQ Capras. Sure kickoff coming here, I'd say. So they've tried one up high, and uh, the wind got hold of it, and it went out on the full. And the second one was drilled low, and they got a result with uh, Purcell coming through and getting the ball, and they enjoyed plenty of possession on the back of that. Let's see what uh, Wes Conlon's got in stake here. I think it's coming. He set it up. He's pointed it that way. They know it. They're targeting that way. And they've gone for the low one again. And it'll have gone in to touch another penalty. And they've tried again, but again, a penalty's come up. So one from three so far with the short kickoffs. But uh, they give away the penalty and they back themselves to defend it. Uh, so far tonight, they haven't been able to. That's why the Capras lead 10 points to nil. So if Capras can really capitalise on this and get out to a three-try lead, Coach Kim Williams will be very happy. Is there a point in time that the Walker Boy brothers are going to say no more boys? No, no, they won't put it away. I think they'll keep pulling the trigger. And uh, like I said, it's statistical. They'll, they'll just keep pulling it and just see how they go. Um, well, when it's on, it's on. And when it's off, it's off. That's There's no 50-50 in there. So as the Capras play the ball, that's key. We'll bring it forward. 15 metres away from the line. Gilbert waiting in the wings at dummy half. He'll play it. Feed it through. Goodman throws the dummy. Will it be cut down? And looking to play it quickly. He does. Gilbert it is. Defence swarms on him. And he can't get it away. So he'll play it again. Firing it through. Foster it is to Hill. Hill runs the ball forward. Still going. Offloads away. Dave Cowan unfortunately has lost the ball. And the Jets pick it up. They're away. That's Wes Conlon with the ball. He'll be cut down 25 metres away. Yeah, I think Hill just had a rush of blood there. That pass really wasn't on. Uh, that's not the way the Capras have been playing. They've been playing disciplined footy. And they're getting to the edges and they're really troubling the Ipswich Jets on the edges. So Coach Kim Williams won't be happy with that. And he gives the uh, Ipswich Jets uh, a chance to get off the hook there. This is where the Capras have got to be careful and not give away penalties, particularly fourth and fifth tackles. That was their Achilles heel last week. Big run from Seb Pandia there. Seen him put in the ground on the Capra's side of halfway. So Mosley on the inside. Fresh legs, Rowan Winterfield now on four. The Ipswich Jets, they make their first change as the front rower Tyson Lafipo comes off. Now Mosley runs it himself. Last one on the deck now. Pander at acting half. Gets it away, Phillips. He had to juggle it. He'll put it on the toe. Looks like it's going to be falling just inside. 
the field of play. And uh, so Sagafo will run it forward. Uh, appealing for the high tackle, referee say play on. And it'll be finally wrapped up. So they'll play it here, quick play the ball. Sees Foster come out of dummy half. Good run, they've made metres out of that. Remembering they picked it up about a metre from their own in goal. So here we go now, Junior Karasomi. Good run from him as well. This is a fantastic set of six so far from the Capras. They are five short of halfway. Gilbert it is now, fires it to Goodman. Goes through to Roy, throws the dummy, tries to break the line, but he just can't at the moment. Ipswich side of halfway, the Capras are leading 10 points to nil, 20 gone here in round four of the Intrust Super Cup. Now Bill Cullen brings it forward for the Capras. Last one, 30 metres away from the Jets line. Gilbert looks to run it. He'll put it on the boot. Lovely kick for him as well. He'll find touch. Not too bad. They're controlling the game here at the moment. The Capras ahead 10 points to nil. Yeah, great set. They were 99 metres in that set, the Capras. Uh, so Sagafo took it basically a metre out. It was a great kick by Dane Phillips, but they went the length of the field. So they're not having trouble making metres against the Ipswich Jets. Uh, they're really going punch for punch with them. And uh, I think if they can hold onto the ball, they're a massive chance here. So they'll pack the scrum here. Good game of footy so far. Ipswich really, they've tried the line a few times and apart from those three consecutive sets at the Capra's line, they really haven't had the footy. So now a big chance for them to make their way out of their own end of the field. Now the type of side can, that doesn't really worry them at what point the game is at. They can strike at any stage. They've got players that can strike from long distance. So yeah, yeah. if you go to sleep, they can they can hurt you. They're a very mental side, well, very mental side. And, you know, they just play with you the whole game in the head. And you're right. At any time, the light switch goes on and they fire. I think Mosley's really going to come into his own out of hooker because he's starting to get a bit of space there. Here he goes, he's darting off. So they'll bring the ball forward here at the Ipswich Jets. Wrapped around as they play it once again. That is Christian and acting half to Mosley back on the inside. Matt Neal. So he'll play it again. Firing it through. On the boot there from Christian. He's held back, he's still putting it on the boot there. Sorry, that's Christian now, it was Wes Coughlin, sorry, put it on the boot. Lost there though by the Jets. And it'll be a changeover there as it was the last tackle. Again, another error for the Ipswich Jets who've been riddled with errors in this first half. Yeah, there was one marker down there and uh, Moses took off from dummy half and the pass didn't hit the mark and actually he created an opportunity there, uh, Wes Conlon, but... Uh, the last pass didn't come off. So Gilbert to Hill. Bounces off one. And will be finally put on the deck. 16, ha 16 and a half remaining in the first half. 10 points to nil. It's the Capras ahead. Goodman, Taylor, throws the dummy, tries to run the line, gets back up again. Gets an offload to Bassani. Down the eastern touchline. Still making metres, Bassani. And they're 28 metres away here, the Capras. Back to centre field, Foster, Goodman, Goodman back to Key. Be on the deck here, Key. Looking to play at 25 metres away. Gilbert to Taroy, puts the step on again. Well handled there by the Ipswich Jets' defence. Gilbert, last one to Goodman. Kicks for the eastern sideline. Taken in goal. It was just too much on the kick there from... Blake Goodman, and it'll be a seven tackle rig start. Yeah, seven tackle set. It's a big penalty for uh, just kicking a little bit too far. Goodman's wearing the six, but he really plays as a traditional seven cam. He's uh, directing the players around, and Teroy looks more like the runner of the two in the halves. Well, they're really waiting for their captain, Jack Madden, to return as a penalty is given away. Another hand on the ball infringement. But yeah, they're waiting for their captain, and Jack Madden, who is still out with that. Uh, lower leg injury, that calf injury, which we hope to see him back for next week's game up against the uh, the Burley Bears. Yeah, the inspirational leader, Madden. Um, they are missing him, but they've done well in his absence. You'll probably see the effect of the breeze off this kick there from uh, Conlon. It is a significant breeze. It's really picked up in this first half. There's about 15 minutes to go in the first half, and uh, Ipswich will be looking to get on the board 
as some rain starts to come in. So it is starting to rain once again here at Brown Park in Rockhampton. Sea breezes come in from Yapoon in the Capricorn Coast. As the Jets play it once again, Mosley through to wide it is. They've done a really good job with uh, controlling the ruck cam so far. So Mosley, dummy half, on the inside, Pandia taking it to the line, shows it a couple of times. But they, again, muscle up, wrap that ball around, 20 metres away from the line. So Mosley, Phillips on the inside again. That'll be Pio Secchi. Fine in the World Cup, I know, uh, joined the Fiji Barty side after that injury, I think it was to Kane Evans. I was there in Townsville last year, and this young fellow, Pio Secchi, as they get the offload away, Mosley, Phillips, they rush up, though, Bassani it is, rushing up, but Phillips is able to break away. He throws a couple of dummies. Bassani grabs the second hold of it. Eight metres short, last one. Mosley, short side, on the boot. It's played out there by the Capras. They're forced in goal, and another goal line dropout coming for the Jets. Yeah, the Jets have been very patient uh, when they've got down into good ball. Uh, they've really come with the... I think they're trying to have a cumulative effect on the Capras. They think they can have a fitness edge over them. And uh, they've been rolling that ball in consistently behind the Capras' right-hand defence. So I don't know whether that's got anything to do with Dave Taylor being on that right-hand side, but they're turning them around um, on the Jets' left-hand side and on the Capras' right-hand side. Gee, the rain's really starting to come down here at Brown Park, as you can probably see. It's still a miss, though. It's not uh, heavy rain. It's no, just a miss. No, it's not heavy, but it, it might make the ball greasy. They're taking an inordinate amount of time here, the Capras. Uh, They're not even ready. Uh, re it, it, really show, yeah, it really shows you the advantage of not having the shot clock. A side like the Ipswich Jets would really benefit uh, from a shot clock with the dropouts, but um, they've probably taken, I don't know, a minute and a half off the clock there. So it's kicked by the Coltrane once again. They let it bounce a few times. Picked up by Christian. Uh, it'll then be Winterfield who's brought the ball forward in off the bench tonight Winterfield plays it to Conlon and he'll go to the middle of the field Nat Neal good break they haven't been able to get on his back he's looking to quickly play it will do finally Mosley out of dummy half engages to the line and Purcell drops the ball and here we go Knock on both ways, Tyson Bruff says. The Capras are looking to run away with it, but not to be. They'll still get the ball. Scrum the pack 15 yeah, away from the right that. line. I must have missed a knock on there from the Capras because I saw the one there from Purcell. But uh, he ran away with the ball. He, he called. It was a double knock on. Yep. Um, and we can see there they, they're going to get the ball with about 12 and a half minutes to go, and they lead by 10 points to nil. So, so come and pack the scrum. Thanks again to the One Life Centre as well, bringing you round for the Intra Super Cup East to Thursday footy here at Brown Park between the Capras and Jets. The Capras a handy 10 point lead. 12 to go until the break. They'll come off the scrum. And uh, it'll be Gilbert now. Through to Dave Cohen. He'll play it 38 metres away. Gilbert short side once again, scooting from dummy half. Eight metres last week, 149 metres. The young fella, Foster. Fresh legs on now with Brad Lupai on now for the CQ Capras. Inside Jets territory. Slow to play it. They've been able to control the ruck there well as Hill. Centre field. Muscles the legs forward. He still goes. Great carry there from the lock forward Hill. 22 metres away. The last tackle coming up as Gilbert gets it to Foster. He'll put it on the boot. Looked like it come off the side. Capra's contesting. Taken by the Ipswich Jets and Kirasomi tackled. The Ipswich Jets player there had a bit of a look at the pocket referee. Thinking maybe a penalty was coming but wasn't to be for tackled in the air. The Jets will just work their way out. The fullback Purcell's got it. And very slow to his feet. He'll play it. Back to centre field. That's White. The second rower. On the deck now. 20 metres away now in their, in their red zone. Now Pandia to the line. Luke George now on also for the Capras. So 
It'll be held 25 metres away from the line. Plays it to the short side. Still going. So wrapped up. Offload, sneaky offload out the back. Phillips chasing it. So does the Capras, they dive on it. Referee saying touch Capras. Yeah, it was, Cam. That's really unlucky for the Capras because they rolled the dice and ran it on their own 30 metre line uh, on the fifth tackle, the Ipswich Jets, typical Ipswich Jets, and um, they've got out of jail there because nothing was on and uh, it was just a wrapping tackle. I don't think he would have meant to knock it down and they get a full set with a scrum on their own 30. It's not working tonight so far for the Ipswich Jets. Usually they're contemporary play plays off but I shouldn't speak too soon with Wes Coughlin with the ball at the moment as he plays it through sorry it was Christian with the ball Coughlin played it they do look Down a little now. bit disjointed Cam but you, you've got to give full credit to the Capras here's a quick play of the ball this is what they play off the back of but Capras haven't been giving them a lot of quick play of the balls here we go Christian it is Makes 10 metres, plays it quickly again. Mosley off the back of it. They earn themselves a penalty, the Ipswich Jets. And that'll be for the push that was given. And you're right, it's a relatively unchanged side from last week with the four-day turnaround. The only change that they've made is that Mitch Carpenter comes into the side. And uh, Marvin Barber out with that injury. Yeah, he's a big out, Marvin Barber, because he just, he just has that electric pace and uh, he, he's a finisher. Work it forward here. The Ipswich Jets. Mosley, dummy half. The lock forward now, Shea. George getting around the locks to make the tackle. With the eight and a half minutes remaining in this first stanza. Phillips. Back to Pandia. Running around. They're going from left to right on the inside. Purcell makes another mistake at the line. Yeah, Michael Purcell's having a night to forget here. He's uh they, they, they got to him early, Cam. He, he's a light fullback. He's a very light player to be playing in this level of footy. And they roughed him up early. I noticed it. Um, they really got stuck into him. A couple of the back rowers from the Capras. And um, he's had a look a couple of times when he's gone to get the ball. Um, and he's come up with a couple of errors. So, Well, they don't mind the little fullbacks. They had Carl with Anderson a few years ago, and there wasn't much to him either. No, nah, Carl Anderson obviously signed with the Blackhawks, but um, the Capra's coach, Kim Williams, would be ecstatic with this. They've, uh, they've really controlled the majority of this first half. So at the back of the scrum here, the Capra's have the ball. So as they play it, Lupai bring it forward. So they work out of their own hand, end here. It's been a free-flowing game and very little mistakes, you know, from the Capra's here. They'll... They'll be fairly happy with their completion rate as they were last week as well. It was very similar. They haven't given away as many penalties as George plays at the Gilbert. No, the discipline's been better. Oh, here goes Billy Gilbert. Good run by Gilbert. He's got to do that more in the latter stages of this first half. As he'll play the Foster. Now Flanagan on for the Capras. They're inside Jets territory here. 38 metres away from their line. Gilbert back to the right side. Goodman goes high. Here we go, Purcell going to be tested, chases are on, he takes it well. Good chase there from Foster George as well, they're all up in their face. And he gets away from them a little bit there, Purcell. Going to be wrapped up 18 short of his own line. So now they're going to run the ball, long pass out. Here they go, they're, they're, Capra's defence is shifting well though. As it'll be Christian will run the ball again. So look to dominate the ball. Conlon has it. He'll work it through now. Through to Humphreys. Back on the inside, centre field. And it'll be White who has it. He'll be wrapped up 40 metres away from his own line. So it's now Pania trying to hit a hole. Looks like their number nine, Jaden Connors, is on now in the dummy half roll for the Jets. Six to go. Capra's leading 10 points to nil here at Brown Park. They get it away to Phillips. Long ball back into Mosley. Mosley then fires it through the line there. Neil. Neil gets a lovely ball away to Humphreys. Back on the inside then to Conlon. He runs into open space. Weaving his way through. Fending as well. Still running through. And he'll finally be put on the deck. Humphreys it as he plays it. Last tackle. They're 25 metres away. 
Goes through Christian, long ball, Phillips, he's had to juggle it, George rushes up on him, they get the ball away then, Mosley, lovely ball, Jets in open space, throws a ball, there was a touch, flat, knock on anyway, last one, they won't die wondering the Jets but they haven't been able to complete it into points, five and a half remaining in the first half, 10-0, oh, Capras. The, yeah, they've bombed that camp, they have bombed that cold uh, on the inside if he looks on the inside he's got an unmarked man he would have been under the post but uh, they're starting to find a few gaps in the Capra's defense here the Jets are getting a bit of possession they're throwing the ball around and um, we've got an exciting five minutes this, to go in this first half the Cigarfo played it work their way forward here the Capra's Foster is now Gilbert gets it away Hill Working their way forward again 38 metres away from the line. Gilbert takes it to the line, then gives it away Flanagan, the new man coming in for Phil Nardi. And he's tackled five short of halfway. Gilbert back to Hill, it's his second carry in this set. They've made metres off this set yet again, the Capras. It's something they've successfully done. Gilbert short side to Roy, puts it on the boot. It'll still be the last, it wouldn't have been played with. To Roy, unfortunately, Cohen, sorry, it's come out, picked up by the Jets. And it was a little bit of a lacklustre rem to that set of six. No, he had the right idea. He was trying to put it in, uh, into touch, slow the game down. They're starting to tire a little bit, the Capras, but they're holding up okay. It's real danger time from here. Four to go in the first half. Connors, away to Neil. He'll play it. 45 away from the Capras line. Mosley runs it to the line. Turns it back on the inside, Pandia. Fires it out to Christian. He'll step one and two. They're going to run it. Doesn't even look like the Jets know themselves what they're going to do at the moment as they go back to centre field. And uh, uh, that'll be Denzel Burns now. In fact, he'll get the ball away. And they're still just turning it around. Putting a show on here at Brown Park is Christian. And they're just encouraging him to go to ground. As Connors now takes it to the line. They're going to wrap that ball up here, the Capras. You're right, though, as they get an offload out the back again. The ball is still alive. Longest phase in history. You're right, though, while they are really just testing them mentally with three minutes on the clock. The Capras, though, leading 10 points to nil. Phillips on the inside. You'll see the Jets put to ground, 25 metres away. I've lost the tackle count now. That phase went for so long. Connors. Steams out a dummy half. He puts it on the boot through the defender's legs. Dived on by Chanel Sagafo. And a handy applause from the crowd as well as Bassani. Yeah, I think he let him off the hook there a bit, Connors. Oh, I thought um, they were starting to tire and moving the ball around was working for Ipswich. Um, the Capras did really well. Their, their fullback, Foster, was telling him to move up. But I, I think what they did well is they didn't engage. When you engage, you, you uh, break the line and you give them a chance to get in behind or initiate an offload. And they didn't give way. It looks like a, we might have a drop ball here. No, he's held it. Well done. Well, while you, you mentioned about them tiring him out, but the defensive line doesn't have any time to rest. So you don't know what side they're going. So therefore, no one can rest. They've got to be on their toes. And I guess it's just... A, a test of fitness as the kick goes deep downfield and it'll be brought forward by Michael Purcell. Here he goes. Good tackle there by Junior Kurosomi. And he's brought 15 metres away from the line. They're going to go centre field here. Just under two minutes remaining on the clock in the first half. 10-0 Capra's leading the Jets here at Brown Park. Scoop from dummy half here now from Phillips. Uh, sorry, Christian, sorry. Playing it quickly once again. And that's Christian now, sorry. Mosley, long ball out Phillips. What's he going to do? Back on the inside. A lovely offload there from Seki. Into Burns. They're in Capra's territory once again. And he's lost the ball. Looking to get the quick play of the ball, but you've got to focus on putting it on the uh, on the toe there, Well, Yeah, uh, he's just come up with the error there. That's a good call by the referee. Um, he's been impressive, uh, young Burns, who's come onto the wing for Mama Baba. He's looked really good in every touch that he's had. This is a, well, there's about a minute on the clock and the Capras aren't rushing to it. They're obviously tired from defending a lot in the last few phases, but um, it might be a sneaky opportunity for them to score points because they have had some success coming out to Connor Broadhurst on this left-hand side against the uh, right-hand defence, right-hand side defence of the Ipswich Jets. One thing I was going to say is that it was enterprising play there. There wasn't an error. There was, wasn't a penalty for 
after set after set after set until that happened. It was good stuff. It's been a good game of footy here. Capra's letting 10 points to nil, particularly for us here. Capra's shirts from Capra's TV. Into the final 30 seconds of play here. You think that Capra's will just milk this clock down. Maybe look to get an extra four points on the board before we go into the sheds. Maybe a one-pointer here, Cam. You reckon it's on the cards? Make it 11-0. Tend to go to Roy. Puts it on the boot. Fielded well there by Purcell. What are they going to come up with here as the siren will sound in the background? And that'll be stumps on the uh, first half here at Brown Park in Rocky. The CQ Capra is leading 10 points to nil. Olsen Carlos, first half of footy here at Brown Park. Yeah, great for the Capras. Yeah, great first half by the Capras. A really, really disciplined defensive display by the Capras. Um, the Ipswich Jets, as they always do, they've thrown a bit at them. They have made some mistakes, but uh, they've certainly thrown a bit at them in, the, in, uh, in attack. And they've had repeat sets on their attacking the Capras line, and they haven't been able to break them. And that, that comes down to the Capras scramble defence. It's staying honest in defence. They've really stayed honest. They've talked to each other. And um, that's the reason why the Ipswich Jets are on zero at half time. But like I said to you at the start, this is a 10 point breeze. Okay, it's um, the Ipswich Jets are well and truly in it. Uh, and I expect it to be a really, really exciting second half camp. Certainly, before we go to the break, we've got to thank the Capra sponsors for 2018, including their naming rights sponsor, the Rockhampton Leagues Club. Be sure to check out the new renovations they've done here. Uh, at the Rocky League Club here at Brow Park. Yan Cole as well. Great supporters of junior footy here with Ian Cole. They've jumped on board with the uh, the junior academies and their junior development this year. Uh, Cold Train as well, NRG Industrial, SMW, JetGo, the Villa Capri, and the Brunswick Hotel. We do appreciate their support. There's plenty more sponsors as well, which we'll tell you about later in the second half. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back with the second half next. It's Capra's 10, leading the Ipswich Jets nil.
here at Brown Park for round four of the Intra Super Cup between the CQ Capras and the Ipswich Jets. Cam Salad and Walson Carlos calling all the action here at Brown Park for round four. And it's all thanks to the One Life Centre. Just waiting for the Capras to make their way out. And the referees come out. We're getting a little bit excited as I re-welcome Walson Carlos to the call. Walson. Yeah, Cam, uh, it was a great first half by the CQ Capras. Well, I think uh, Kim Williams would be just telling his troops more of the same. Uh, obviously, uh, the teams turn around and the Ipswich Jets get the the use of a pretty handy breeze, but um, the Capras' defence was really honest. And, um, you know, that if they can keep that up for 80 minutes, might be a chance of coming away with this one. Yeah, you're certainly right, Wolf. As we see, uh, there's a lot of kids on the field here. They're having a bit of a run around, and the Ipswich Jets have been out here for about two or three minutes, so they're keen to go. No sign of the uh, Capras yet, but uh, the Jets are out on the field. We're back. We fixed up the technical issue. Well, he's just playing a little bit of tech support. We've got comms. I think the referee comms. Yeah, right. So, it's been a good first half of footy. As the Capras come back out, well. Yeah, no, it's been a great first half there, Cam. I'm not sure if the uh, viewers heard what we were saying before, but uh, the Capra's boys have really bridged up in defence, and uh, Coach Kim Williams would be very, very happy with uh, the way that they've defended. They've really scrambled. Ipswich Jets have certainly thrown plenty at them, but uh, they've answered every call, and uh, if they can do much the same in the second half, they could get away with their second win of the season here in this Intrust Super Cup. Easter Thursday game. And for the Jets, I think the uh, Walker Brothers' message would be nah, just not. keep having shots. Hey, uh, no, this is the way they play. We know this is the way they play. Uh, I don't think they'd be nah, too perturbed sure by that first half. A couple of things didn't go their way. They'd probably drop more ball than they'd, they'd want to. Um, had a few kickoff penalties, but uh, that'll happen when you're rolling the dice. I think we'll see much of the same from the Ipswich Jets and um, they will be backing we so their style of play to have a cumulative fatiguing effect on the Capras and uh, they'll be hoping that they can get some points late in the game. Right, I'm looking forward to the second half here at Brown Park in Rockhampton for this Q Cup clash for round four of the Utah Super Cup as they play the ball. They'll uh, work it forward here. Ipswich Jets. They don't really work it for, do they? They just throw it around a little bit here. They'll finally bring him into touch. Listen to that crowd. They're loving it here. Capra's ahead, 10 points to nil. Yeah, the crowd really getting around the team, and so they should. Great defence there. Uh, Humphreys, he's been going across the field, across the field, and he picked up uh, Pio Secchi. And uh, he wouldn't be an easy man to get over the sideline, but uh, they really bunched up in defence and dragged him over the sideline. And again, the start of the second half, like the first half, they've got a result here, the Capras. Can they put some points on? They've got to, while well, I think they've really got to. As we spoke about the Ipswich Jet side, they can just hit in stink you. So they've got to build this a, a comprehensive lead and hold on to it. And sadly for the Capras, they weren't able to do that last week. They had a comprehensive lead, well, an eight-point lead, and they lost it, unfortunately. Yeah, the big question is how many points do they need to win, I guess. Um, based on their defence in the first half, um, maybe they only need another try to win. But you'd have to think that the Ipswich Jets are going to have you know, three or four tries in the second half. Brad Lupi now has got the footy. Springs it forward. They'll be wrapped up 18 metres short of the line. 
Gilbert has a bit of a look. And he'll get it away to Roy. Then finding Foster, taking it to the line, trying to break through. But he's unable to do so. And it'll be finally pulled to ground. So they fire it once out to Teroy once again. Back to Hill. And uh, Hill will try and stay on uh, all fours, but he is unable to do so. On his back, he's right. Gilbert to Roy. Takes it to the line to Goodman. Goodman then long ball out to Bassani. Well done there from Burns. He did leave Sagafo unmarked, but he needed to come forward. Here we go. Last one now for the Capras. Georgia acting half. Gets it away, Goodman. Puts it on the boot. Trying to break through. Bit of work done for Purcell. Which they get him in goal. Crowd love it. Capras on top early in the second piece. Yeah, the crowd really getting behind the Capras at the moment. It's great to see. Clever footy there by Goodman. He's really steered the ship here. And you can see him. He's marshalling his troops there. Nice chase by Foster. Trapped Purcell in the in, the, the in goal. And um, just as... The Ipswich Jets got a couple of repeat sets against the Capras down this end in the first half. Are they going to go short here? They are going to go short right to the sideline. And George has been able to knock it backwards. So he's going to run his way forward. And uh, he'll be put on the ground. Playing it to Gilbert. And they get the penalty. Offside is the call. It's been noticeable in this game that there hasn't been a lot of penalties. It's been really well refereed, but both teams have taken the hint early, I think. Uh, and um, because of that, we've seen a lot of a lot of time in transition where the ball has just been in play. So whether that'll take its toll at the end of the game, Cam, remains to be seen. Brad Lupi is the man looking to play the ball. Gilbert back on the inside. Hill going for the line. And he can't get there. So, Platt to Gilbert. Now Lupai tackle it again. Fire from the line. Gilbert. Short to Key. Chopped down. Loses the ball backwards. And they'll push him back here. Unfortunately, the Capras can't complete on the line. Yeah, not the best option from Billy Gilbert there. He's had a pretty good game, but you could tell they did not have the shape set up out on the left, and you could tell that they weren't going out to the back, so he threw the ball to the front man, and it was never on. Seb Pannier now. Brings the ball forward here for the Jets. They get the penalty. Around the neck is the call from Tyson Bruff. So a kick for Tachi, Wes Conlon will... Boone at touch. And uh, they'll find it dead on halfway. He's a real workhorse, Seb Pandio. I had a look at the uh, Intra Super Cup stats during the week, and he just gets through so much work. He's done 67 runs or something like that over three games, and, and he's, he's the highest metre getter by anyone else in the Intra Super Cup by about 200 metres, Ken. Yeah, 554 metres he has made. 63 runs in the competition so far to date over three games. Unbelievable, isn't it? Okay, 25 metres away from the line. Back then to Neil, looking for the offload. He can't get it. And he'll be put to ground. 10 metres away. Quickly plays it. Here we go. The Jets through Connors. Running the ball. Finds Phillips, but it's Bassani who cuts him down. And they'll play it once again. Connors fires it into the middle of the field. They put it on the boot. Chase is there. Do they get the on the ground? Do they ground the ball? They do. Try awarded Ipswich Jets. Home crowd not too happy. I didn't catch a try scorer there in the in the play wall. Yeah, it looked like where's Conlon there, but I think he might have dislocated his hand in the in his finger in the process because he's walking straight to the bench and he's holding his left hand there. So. Obviously, in the put down, he's he's going sh he's going straight to the sheds, and the trainer's waving. So, hopefully, it's not too bad. But he's um, he's done something to either his finger or his wrist there. Clever little play there by the five eight Christian, just drifting across. He saw the space in behind. Conlon called for the kick, and uh, they get the try there. Ten points to four. Capra's still ahead. 
Here at Brown Park, Sam Caslick comes on for the Jets. And a kick now for Jaden Connors. To reduce the deficit to just four points. Here at Brown Park for round four of the Intra Super Cup and it's all thanks to the One Life Centre. Yeah, we just caught a, a glimpse of uh, Wes Common on the sideline and his finger is well and truly dislocated there. He's, uh, it looks like his pinky finger. Um, he's looking for a doctor there to put it back in. Yeah, it looks a bit like Brian Fletcher's finger. Yes, it does. Yes, I've just had a look through the binoculars to get a nice little close-up vision. Uh, fingers aren't supposed to point that way, Cam. No, they aren't meant to have a separate postcode. So, kick. A successful flags go up. And it makes the scores, 10 points to 6. 7 and 3 quarter minutes gone here at Brown Park. Yeah, the Capras have just got to, they, they shouldn't let themselves get too um, disappointed with that. That's just a classic Ipswich Jets try, but um, they'll probably be looking at the scoreboard going 10-6. Oh, I think we should be further ahead than that. They probably deserve to be further ahead, but... Uh, 10-6 it is. So Seb Pandia picks it up from the kickoff. And we put on the deck. So I'll give it away and that's Sam Caslett, the new man who's taking a run for the Jets. Connor as it is. Uh, that's Matt Neal. He's wrapped up now. So he plays it quickly. Connor as it is. Now that's Neal now. Who plays it again very quickly. That's making metres here. Connors it is. Back on the inside. They run through. Is it Purcell who's coming to the line? Gets the ball away. And no. The Jets have knocked on. It was a try begging there to make it 10 all. And they've knocked on. Yeah, they've uh, they cost themselves there. But... Uh, you can definitely see the uh, momentum shift here, Cam. Uh, Ipswich Jets, they seem to be on top at the moment. So um, the Capra is going to have to try and arrest that momentum. There might be a few changes coming soon. I think a couple of the big forwards are struggling around the ruck. And um, they'll be looking to get maybe Dave Taylor back on there for the last 25 to 30 minutes. And possibly Billy Cullen as well. Have they played Ta Dave Taylor for and that's 71 an e minutes and they've just lost the foot. Yeah, well, that's an example of the new rule cam. There was two in the tackle and one dropped off and smart play by the second rower there. I just can't catch his number, number 11, but uh, he has stripped the ball one-on-one -on -one after it was a two-in-the-one tackle. And they changed that rule this year, the NRL. You're allowed to do that. So Chris, uh, the dummy half con as it is, gets away. Phillips taking it to the line. Back on the inside now. That's Pio Seki. Busting through. But he'll be wrapped up. So only about a metre from the goal line. Plays it at Connors, right side. And they go through. Phil, uh, it's Christian who turns it into Carpenter. Sorry, Humphreys it is, I should say. So they play it once again. On the boot! Oh, what a try! What a try there from the winger. Burns. Burns it is. Outstanding kick. I thought it was too much there. I thought it was going touch in goal. And replay that a thousand times, Wilson Carlos. Oh, I can't believe it, Cam. I was getting ready to go back for the seven tackle set, and he came out of nowhere, Denzel Burns. We were impressed by him. This might be his debut, I'm not sure. I haven't seen him before for the Ipswich Jets, but unbelievable. The kick came from Connors, and I thought, for your life, it was too big. And uh, he seemed to come out of nowhere. Great diving try, and, well, you know, if you're the Capras, you just shake your head and go, what have we done wrong? We've, we've given up two tries two sort of freak tries off kicks. They, they haven't done a lot wrong in defence, so Kim Williams will be scratching his head, I think. But that's the Ipswich Jets, that's what they can do to you. They are the Song Assassins for the 
Capras know it. 10 all is the score. In a matter of minutes, they've just gone bang and bang. So here we go. It's going to be a very tough kick now. For Connors from the sideline. He's been good, Connors, Cam. He's, he's come on and he's injected a bit of energy. And they did play uh, Kieran Mosley in a, a loose forward role. And he's still on the field, Kieran Mosley. So they're playing pretty small against the Capras because they think they can expose the big forwards, I think. So here we go. To put them ahead the first time tonight. Connors strikes it. Looks good. Looks great. And is successful. 12-10, Ipswich lead the Capras. Ah, oh, what a kick. But seriously, you've got to feel sorry for the Capras. They haven't done a long, lot ro uh, wrong here, Cam, and they're finding themselves down on the scoreboard for the first time with 27 minutes to go. And um, oh, you get hats off to the Ipswich Jets. Two great kick tries, but uh, you do feel sorry for the Capras. So here we go, a restart from the Capras. Blake Goodman who booted it downfield. It'll be Nat Neal to bring it forward for the Jets. On the line, 20 metres away from his line. So they'll play it. Now Lafipo, or rather prop forward, is 29 metres away from his line. Bill Cullen and Dave Taylor back on the field. So Kaslik throws it to Mosley back on the inside now. Wrapped up short of the 40. So Mosley is taking it to the line. In fact, Pandy, here it is, sorry. So he shrugs off one and two, tries to run through, but it's both Cullen and also Key, who will, oh, I thought, finally put him to ground. Inside their own territory here, the Capras. Got to keep him out, 12-10, Jets leading. Connors goes to Phillips, back on the inside. Neil once again, good tackle around the legs there from Cullen. Last one coming up. Here we go. Phillips it is. Goes high. Got a work to do for Foster. Gets it well. Takes it well there, Zake Foster. And they get the penalty. They're offside, the Ipswich Jets. The perfect piggyback the Capras need. This is just what the Capras needed. Uh, the coach Kim Williams has rung the changes there, as we thought he might. Uh, Jerry Key, Bill Cullen, and Dave Taylor are all back on the field. Uh, and that is... That is their, uh, the, their best starting pack there. Dave Taylor takes a big charge. He really needs to put in some good metres here, Dave Taylor. I think he needs to try and get rid of the 5-8 the roll. He tries to play and just go into a genuine second rower here and kick the line. Yeah, he's been good this game, Kim. Oh, that could have gone either way, but he's caught it. Yeah, good work by Billy Cullen. He, he, he earns the penalty, and hopefully they can shift the momentum here. Could have gone either way, but... A signaling that it was kicked there. So here we go. Another penalty. Bassani takes a tap. Tries to sneak through here. He's been outstanding, Bassani. Oh, I have been really impressed. Every touch he's given him trouble. So Key pushes forward. Wrapped up. Ten out. I'll give it to Dave Taylor. Gilbert goes to the left hand side. Goodman to Taroy. Then to Cohen. Dave Cowan. Five away. Plays it quickly. Well, Scoot. Chews up a tackle there. At five from the line. I'll play it through. Goodman it is. Turns it on the inside key. Not going to break the line there. Last one here for the Capras. Ten away. They go to the right. Goodman. Taylor. What's he going to do? He's going to run it. Wraps it up. Fires an offload. It could have gone forward. It does go forward. Into touch either way was the last. And it'll be a changeover. Yeah, well, I don't blame the big fella for that. He had to try something. It was last tackle. I think they left it too late to go to Dave Taylor. They had it set up early in the set where they could have gone to him. Um, they had a lot of space. And uh, they left it to the last tackle and put pressure on him. So he either had to throw a miracle offload or put a kick in. Um, and I think... He's played pretty well, Dave Taylor, but he's, get, he's copping a lot of stick from the opposition players, the Ipswich Jets. So it'll be near, we'll play it. Screw from dummy half now from Kaslik. 
Jets up 12-10 here at Brown Park. 23 to go, so still anyone's game in this rather low-scoring affair. So Lafipo wraps it up, Mosley, dummy half. Fire it through. Out of wide. Put on the grass, are the just short of the halfway line. Phillips. Through now to Humphreys. Playing it quickly. Phillips goes high. Here we go, a bit of work's gotta be done by Foster. He's knocked on, picked up by the Jets. And one of the easiest tries there from Michael Purcell. Signaled his own try there and just a costly mistake for Zake Foster. Yeah, clever little post-try celebration there by Purcell. He gave himself the six again and then pointed to the spot, but uh, that's heartbreaking for the Capras. Three tries off kicks. Um, it was a towering bomb that uh, I think Phillips put up and uh, he was under pressure a long way out there. And Foster, he, he tried his best to catch it on the full and unfortunately um, he couldn't do it. I think if he had it caught it on the full, it might have been a penalty to Ipswich in front of the post because there was some late contact on the kicker, late, and uh, it wasn't a wrapping motion. So they may have got a penalty anyway, but four points with the kick to come. It's better than two. Yeah, that's right. It is Cam, and uh, unfortunately for the Capras fans, and there's two of them up here, uh, it looks like Ipswich Jets are getting well and truly on top in this game on the back of... Um, the short and long kicking game. Well, they had it themselves in first gear in the first half, it seems, and now they just turn the afterburners on, haven't they, the Jets? Kick now for Christian from right in front. Yep. Just gives himself the two points from in front of the post. It's 18-10. Jets leading the Capras. And what they've done, Cam, here is uh, by putting, going bang, bang, bang and taking the lead is they're taking the crowd out of play. And the crowd was starting to come into play uh, early in the second half and late in the first half. So they've taken the crowd out of play and it's really going to test the Capras' will to come back here but I, I think the boys can do it they've just got to muscle up in defence and try to force some errors and uh, hopefully they can get a crack looking a bit like last week now the Capras had the lead at half time but they just couldn't get over the Mackay Cutters last week so that's Kaslik trying to bust through but couldn't get through at this stage so Lafipo Hitting and spinning, Dave Taylor wraps him around. And he'll finally be put on the deck. We'll play to most. Get it away, Christian turns it on the inside, Pandia. Trying to run around them. Goodman comes in to make the tackle alongside Hill. They're tackled 45 away. Mosley it is, back to the open side to Phillips. Long ball, out to the eastern side. Oh, and they were lucky to get around the legs there of, Phil of uh, the half. So now Mosley goes high. Now Foster is knocked on there by the Jets for sure. There will be call. Referee agrees. So it was the last one. Change over. Uh, Ten metres away from the Capra's line. Yeah, it's been a much improved second half by the Jets fullback, Michael Purcell. We said it yeah, early in the uh, first half he had a couple of errors and um, he got roughed up a little bit, but he's been instrumental in this comeback for the Jets. So, I'll play it, Dave Taylor it is. The cold train running forward. They get the quick play of the ball here. It's taken four defenders. Pan, uh, it was Pekki at uh, Seki, Pio Seki who brought Taylor to ground there now. It's a real mental game for him now, Cam, is uh, can they get themselves up off the canvas? Good run by Billy Gill, but he's, he's been outstanding once again tonight. But uh, can they pick themselves up off the canvas and find a way to get back into this game? So they'll go through the hands, Foster is. They rush up onto Roy. 
can't get the ball away. Well done there from Seb Pandia. So they'll kick. 40 away from the line, all the time in the world here. Did Burns have to take that kick? So they'll play it. They'll give it away. That is Kaslik. Long ball out onto the other side of the field. And I'm trying to see if that's Wes Conlon back on the field. I don't think it is. I thought. Nah, it's Christian. They Christian. they are look alike, but um, he moves really well. Christian, really impressive. What's that one for? Looks like a strip. Strip. Uh, again, it, it, just that ill discipline creeping back in. Ken. Played in the count. Well, that's that's what's really hurting him. So they're going to kick the touch here. Seven and a half to go, 18 points to 10. Be sure to uh, hit us up on our Facebook page at Rockhampton Leagues Club Capras. Tell us where you're watching from tonight. A couple of shout outs I've got through correspondence. Terry Weatherly from the Highlands is watching tonight. And Matt Pacey, I know, is. The phone's red hot from Matt Pacey and coaching from Emerald, which is good to see. So here we go. Ipswich with the ball. And out of dummy half, Mosley to Pandia. As he brings the ball forward. Crowd's a bit deafening now here, Wall 2. They've really gone to sleep here at Brown Park. Phillips to White. Runs it. Good one on one contact, Goodman. They finally bring it to ground. 15 away. Mosley. Long ball. Christian it is. Running the ball. Back on the inside, that'll be Humphreys. Gives it away. And Good work, Capras. They forced the error there, so that's what they needed. They, they, if they gave up points there, Cam, I think it might have been curtains. But uh, they're still in the game. It's only eight points, and there's six, plenty of time to come back. Well, 16 minutes remaining. It's only eight points, two tries. So they bring it forward through Junior Kurosami. So, it'll be the other wing and their opposite winger, Chanel Sagafo now. They've made metres on this set of six. He plays it again. Gilbert comes out of dummy half himself. He hasn't been able to make the metres like he has in the previous three games tonight, Gilbert. He's really been contained by the Jets. This is Foster in the dummy half. Key. Great run, Jerry oh, Key. Oh, yeah, good. Gets the offload. Foster shows it. Has brought it ground. Good meters here from the Cappers. Can they get a repeat set? Last one. Gilbert to Roy. Was it touched by the Jets? The answer's no. They get it out. The back is still alive. As the Cappers run it through. Here they go. Finally, it's on the boot by Teroy. Oh, nearly bounced oh. over. Oh. The contact was okay. What a shot by Bassani. He just rattled up young Burns and <laughs> And Burns oh. is feeling it. Oh, another massive shot. Billy Cullen. Here we go. That's livening the crowd up. And they're just not able to make meters. This is tackle three. And it looks as if they've lost the football. They have lost it, Cam. It's a big chance here. Here we go. Capra's pick it up. They get the penalty. They'd really be asking whether it's a sin man situation. What a game changer that hit from Bassani was. And on the Billy Cullen just got on the back of it and pulled off a bone rattler. And the boys really bridged up here. This is the chance. This is the chance for him to get back into it. Important thing too, they've got the crowd back into it while it's Billy Cullen. Under the post, five away. Well, they've got to come right and test out this young fella. He's still he's still reaching for his leg. He, you know, he's he's in some discomfort. So I'd be coming at Phillips, I'd be coming at Seki, but they're going down the other way. They might have numbers here. Broadhurst loses the ball, goes backwards. They pick it up, it's okay, they score! Capras go over! He's going to give this. Wow. None other than Billy Gilbert is the man who scores. Wow. Questions, but it, I think it went backwards. I think they're right. Well, it well, went backwards. We have no replay, man. Oh, there was a hint of a knock on, but you've got to go with the refs. They're down there. They can see it. And uh, try to the Capras. Got to be happy with that. We're not complaining up here in the box, while I don't think people at home are either. Well, they score 18-14. There might be some question marks down in Ipswich, but in the uh, Central Queensland region, we'll be right. 
But yeah, I can see uh, the Walker brothers remonstrating down there. They weren't exactly happy with the decision, but like we say, we don't have a replay here. We can't see it. You've probably got a better look than we have, so you can make your mind up for yourself. But the only score that matters is the one that's on the scoreboard, and it's 18-14 at this stage, and it's game on, Ken. It is game on. Massive kick for Connor Broadhurst here to make it only two points to deficit. Regardless of, uh, you know, whether it was a try or not, that is reward for effort because Nathan Bassani pulled off a massive shot there and he really lifted his team and then Billy Cullen got off the back of it. They forced an error. There was two or three really big shots and um, the Capras, it's just a massive reward for effort there for how much they bridged up in defence and um, couldn't be prouder of the boys. We've got a few video referees at home. Mick Fletcher says absolutely a try. So here we go, Broadhurst. To make it only two points to deficit. With 12 minutes on the clock. Here he goes. He gets it. Listen to the crowd. What a game we have got remaining. 18 play 16. They're back in it. Get amongst it. Wherever you might be here this evening. Ipswich going short here, Walt. I believe that they will go short. Although he's shaping up for a long one. That Pur looks like, that looks like a, a setup for a long kick, so I could be wrong. Purcell's the kicker. He has gone long. Oh, great take there on the outfield by Foster. So here we go. Billy Cullen. Good run from here. They're looking for the quick play of the ball. I think that's a psychological win to the Capras, to be honest, Ken. They've gone away from their normal game plan. They haven't kicked it short, so... Taylor to Gilbert. Bassani. Having an absolute cracker of a game here tonight, Bassani is. Short of the 40, Gilbert. Goodman and the key. And they're already on the half halfway line here, Wall from the back fence, so... Gilbert to a barnstorming coward. Last one, 40 away from the Jets line. Gilbert, get it away, Goodman. He goes high, they're gonna test Burns here. And it looks like he's... Oh! Foster picks it up! The Cappers will score! Wow, well, what about that one? Get around him, Chanel Sagapo. You little beauty. Jack Foster. And scores for the Capras. Wow, you weren't expecting that one. They tested out the wing of their birds. And the home side score. 10 to go. The Capras are back ahead. 20 points to 18. Oh, it's a cracking game, Cam. Isn't it unbelievable? They've just gone bang, bang, and they're back in the game. The Capras are back in the lead. Chanel Sagafo. It was a good kick because he put it up into the wind and it held up in the wind. And it left, it, it was sort of in between Purcell and the young winger, Burns, who's had, had a little bit of injury trouble. As Purcell went up to go for it, uh, Sagafo got there, tapped it back, and uh, Foster, like a good fullback, he was trailing through. So this has really brought the crowd back into it. As we see Dave Taylor, he's over on the sideline, he's getting some instructions from the assistant coach, Damien Seabot. There's some really strong instructions there. So... How are they going to play out this last nine minutes? And can they repel the Ipswich Jets? Something I can't wait to see, the highlights reel of this game. There has been some outstanding tries scored tonight. Oh, it definitely has. And, and you know what? It's a testament to the willpower of the Capras that they've come back from this eight-point deficit. They re you really felt like it was a little bit unfair, the scoreboard, as we see the kick here. Right over the black dot. 22-18. The Capra's ahead of the Jets. Eight and three quarter minutes remaining. Yeah, you really, you just really felt like um, it was a bit unfair because the Capra's have worked so hard to get the 10-0 lead and then it just evaporated off the back of three kicks and um, just reward for effort. They bridged up in defence and they're in the lead. Can they hold on to it? Well, Here's a short kick. The, oh, this is going to be a tough one. Jets swarm it, batted backwards. They'll pick the ball up here. 
the emotion in this game. Connors. Peck uh, Seki now with the ball. Runs it forward. Connors again. Goes through and that is their lock shake on the ground. Working hard here, the defensive line for the Capitals. They want to keep him out. Good run there from Jaden Connors. The ball comes backwards, picked up by Seki. Bounces forward. Course as it is. Knock on to the Jets. Capra's crowd quite happy with that one. Yeah, interesting call there. He he was facing towards his own goal line, but uh, the referee was right there and the touchy was right in line with it. So, and the touchy is um, actually Matt Noyan, Ken, the uh, NRL referee. It's a massive call up for the uh, referees here to be on the, on the flag tonight. A lot of experience Matt Noyan brings. Yeah, so obviously Noyan was involved in uh, the controversial decision with the uh, West Tigers game, and um, he's got a stint back here, and he's made his way to Rockhampton. So, contesting this scrum here, the Ipswich Jets, they're not really happy with themselves in the era. I don't think they'll be happy tonight well about their, their completion rate. It's been pretty poor. Particularly that first half. Yeah, well, they're not a completion rate team, so um, they might be unhappy with some of their execution, but I don't know whether the completion rate would come into it for them, but uh, I, I think it's, you've really got to give Kaplan's credit because they've played really well. I, I think they've stifled the Ipswich Jets to a degree. Well, they've made metres. Look at this set here. This is amazing. Junior Kurosami there, that run before. Outstanding. David Cohen turns it back on the inside to Bill Cullen. This will be the fourth and they're inside the Jets territory. So Gilbert to Goodman. Goodman to Taylor. Taylor runs back on the inside. Dragging defenders with him. He'll finally play it. 35 away. Here we go. Goodman kicks. Testing for Burns. He thought it was going to go out on the fall. Wasn't to be. Well-weighted kick there from Blake Goodman. You can see him playing the traditional seven role here, just calming his team down. Yeah, great set by the Capras, but they're going to have to be on their game right to the 80th minute because we know how lethal this Ipswich Jets side is. So I think you can really notice the difference that has been made since about the 30-minute mark when Bill Cullen's come back on, Jerry Key's come back on, and Dave Taylor. Now, Dave might not be getting through as much work as a Jerry Key or a Bill Cullen, but he does play a strong leadership role and he's out there and you can hear him talking from the sideline, can't you, Ken? You certainly can, Wallen. I think take a particular notice of him defensively as well. You know, he's he's the one that is really instrumental in slowing that ruck down and they've, they've got away with it tonight. We've seen very few penalties that have seen that seen awarded due to a slow ruck play here. Gilbert's in a bit of trouble here. He's holding a neck. Yeah, that'll be a big blow if Gilbert comes off. He's, looks like he's all right now. So Kaslik tries to run around them. Here he goes. Kaslik tries to break the line. Well done there from Connor Broadhurst. Dragged him to ground on the eastern sideline. So they'll fire it back into the hands. And uh, that is Christian. Gets it away. Phillips. Long ball out Seki. What's he going to do? Bassani again. Good contact there on Seki. And he'll play it. 35 away, quickly, at a dummy half. Sorry, Burns. With it. Slow to play it. Second acting half. Gets it to Phillips. He's under pressure and puts a kick up. Here we go. Bit of work to be done there by Kirasomi. Takes it well. Five minutes to go. Capra's ahead by four. 22 points to 18. So here they go. Going to play the ball here. Sagafo plays it through to Foster, now Bassani. Nathan Bassani wrapped up 35 metres away from the line. Gilbert has a bit of a look around. Plays it. Through now. And that's Broadhurst. Here he goes, trying to break through. Look for that quick play of the ball. Right on halfway he is. Now to Roy. Foster, long ball out. Here he goes, Kurosami. Can he get there? Back on the inside, but he can't get over the line. Foster for his second. Playing it quickly. To Toroy on the line, through to Key, then to Goodman, takes it to Long, Long ball to Hill, Hill goes for the line, back on the inside, penalty awarded Capras, they were offside according to Tyson Bruff. Well, Sagafo then 
to realise he was going out, flick it on the inside. He did touch an Ipswich player, they didn't play at it, but they were very lucky to get that penalty there well. Oh, the boys were offside. Uh, they were definitely offside, but they're looking up to the coach and he is just pacing at the moment. Oh, geez, it'd be a tough time to be a coach, Coach Kim Williams. But can they ice this game? Because if they do it well, they hold the ball for two minutes, hold it for a minute, put it in behind, and they can ice this game. Gilbert, through to Goodman. Now key. Nothing silly here, the Capras. Gilbert once again to the left-hand side. Goodman. Goodman goes to Taroy. Foster. Numbers this way. If they can get over. Broadhurst. Broadhurst. No short. Short of the line. Well, that's almost Sinbin. But anyway, it's, it's milking the clock here, Cam. So this is what they wanted. Repeat set after repeat set. Don't give Ipswich a chance at a Hail Mary. Just do not give them a chance. Two minutes, 45 on the clock. 22 plays, 18. Capra's ahead by four. Here we go. Now Tyson wide on for the Capra's. He's on the deck, five away. Oh, and he's lost the football. Oh, you can hear a pin drop here at Brown Park. Massive error there from the Capras. They had penalty after penalty. And unfortunately for the young ferret, he's lost the footy. Yeah, he's a young fellow and he's in one of his early games. But it, it's just, it's situational understanding of the game. They did not need a quick play the ball. Like, all they need to do is hold the ball for a set, dribble it in behind. So he was getting up trying to play the ball quick, and it was just unnecessary. So hopefully the boys can hold out the Ipswich Jets for this last set. Here we go. Long ball out. Burns has got it. One thing I'd like to know, while with two and three-quarter minutes on the clock, would it have been smart to go for two? Milk well, I think it went through the mind, but with this wind, and I, I think they did the right thing by taking the, taking the tap. So here we go. Seki plays it through. That's Connors. Long way. They fire it through. Oh, they've lost the ball. Neil. Neil's lost the ball. The man you probably has been safe as houses all game and he loses the football. Nah, he's had a great game, that Neil, and he always plays well. He plays his heart out and you got to feel for him. They've, packed, they've stopped the, the clock by packing the scrum, so they're still giving themselves a chance here. For the Capras, just simple stuff. No long balls, because they are the king of the intercepts, the Ipswich Jets, and they can get away with the win. Let's see if the boys can put this one under the wing, ice the game here, Cam. Very nervous people here in the commentary box. Capra's up by four, 22-18, 1.42 on the clock. Here they go. Out the back is Gilbert. Through to Kurosami. He's played really well tonight, Junior Kurosami, filling the roles of Kenny Toffolau. He plays it to Gilbert. Through now to the captain, Jerry Key. They get a try here, the Capras, and they've iced the cake. Gilbert, Goodman, inside Taylor. You can just hear coach Kim Williams yelling out, hold the ball. He's that close to his second win of the season and he, that he can smell it. Come on, boys. So here we go. Taylor plays it, just shy of a minute remaining. Now Hill runs it forward, in a little bit of half space, throws the dummy, Hill! Jamie Hill scores! It's all over, Kappa's win, Rollinson. They win the game. Mate, I'm that excited, I pulled my mic out of the cord. So, unbelievable. Jamie Hill, he, he's done what the coach said. The coach is just screaming out, hold, hold the ball. He held the ball, showed it, crashed over for the try. And this is a well-deserved victory for the Capras. There's no doubt about it. They've played well. Even that patch where they went behind camp, they were three kick tries. You know I mean? They're very hard to defend against. And the boys have given their heart and soul. And they've given up 18 points. And they're all, pretty much all the points have been off kicks. 100%. Two big wins for the Capras. They've beat Nice for round one and now knocked over the Jets. Yep, and two home games with two home wins. I know they had that loss with the Norse Devils, but they can be proud of themselves. And uh, they were ably led. Yeah, big cheer for the boys. The crowd's gone up here. Capras win tonight. Well deserving. It's going to be a tough two games for them. 
coming up. Well, tough three games, actually, because next week they take on the Burley Bears down in Gladstone uh, prior to the NRL game at 11.30 kickoff. Now, we'll hope to have that game on the live stream. The under-18s and the under-20s are next week at Webb Park in Yapoon. 3 o'clock kickoff for that one for the under-18s. And 4.30 for the under-20s. Then the week after, they're on the road to South Logan. I think they're going down to South Logan to play. Yep, it doesn't get any easier. It's a tough competition. It's a little bit like the NRL. You've just got to turn up every week. But I can tell you what, if the Capras turn up every week with the same commitment and desire that they had tonight, they will win a lot of games. And they will get a lot of people along to Brown Park as they have tonight. So to add the icing on the cake... Broadhurst to make it 28-18 and defeat the cup the Jets by 10 points. He gets it in style. 28-18. Capra's win. What a game was it, Carlos. They deserve the win here tonight and they get it as an early Easter present. Oh, mate. So proud of the Capras. The game, amazing game. It went in ebbs and flows. 10-0 to the Capras, first 10 points scored by them. Then 18 straight points to the Ipswich Jets. And then the Capras come back when they look like they're on the canvas and get a 28 points to 18 win. So, oh, full credit to both teams. It was played in the right spirit. There wasn't a lot of penalties. It was a free-flowing game. It was good to watch. Um, but the Capras in the end have proved too good. And uh, this can really kick-start their season, Cam. Two big wins against contenders, the East Tigers and the Ipswich Jets. Massive win tonight here at Round Park. That would mean so much for the Capras. Really boosted. They were sitting last week. They would have been ruining after last week's loss. You know, it was the game that really, at the moment, they should be sitting at 3-1. Three and, three and one. Well, they should be 3-1, and one, but they're not. They're 2-2. Two and, two and But this was an outstanding. We're focused on tonight. This is an outstanding effort. Some of the key players, you saw them on the live stream, but Goodman was great all night. He marshaled his troops around the park. His kicking game was excellent in, in, in the absence of Jack Madden. Um, Nathan Bassani was a real difference maker. Very aggressive in defence. Outstanding in attack. Um, he had great footwork and he handled Pio Secchi, who who is a handful, really, really well, Cam. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And obviously the finisher, Jamie Hill, putting it on the line. One player quiet tonight. He did his job, but Billy Gilbert didn't have as much of an impact as he had has had in the, in the first three rounds. No, but he played. He, he punched out 80 minutes again, and I think if you looked at the stats, he would have got through a, 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 a mountain of defence. Um, their key, you know, their forward pack was outstanding when they came back on for that last 30 minutes. Billy Cullen is a class player. He is an eight, he he is a fringe NRL player. Um, Jerry Key is a very very solid player, and he leads the way. And and obviously Dave Taylor. You don't see a lot of the stuff that he's doing, but we do see it from our vantage point here. And he's talking to the boys. He's, he's, he's taken on a real leadership role. I think Zeke Foster was outstanding. He had that one error there, and, and I felt for him. You know, that led to the Purcell try, but he came back and he hit back well. So Capra's fans have got plenty to cheer about tonight, and I think they've got plenty to look forward to for the season. One relieved and happy coach tonight will be Kim Williams as well. Yeah, and he's got him in a huddle there, and he's having a chat to him, Cam. And, you know, he's probably telling them, Boys, if we play like this every week, we give ourselves a massive chance of winning. Because they play with the commitment and desire required to win an Intrust Super Cup game. And, uh, you know, they had to go through the disappointment of going 18-10 down after leading 10-0 when it's... It, like I said through the call, it didn't really appear like they made any defensive errors. It was just smart kicks, really freakish play by the Ipswich Jets, which they can do to you. And they had the heart, they had the will, they had the desire, and they got the crowd behind them, and they came back and took it out 28 points to 18. Yeah, a massive win tonight for the CQ Capras in front of a big home crowd here at Brown Park there. At the moment, as you can see... Just thanking the crowd, a big crowd there at in the Leagues Club, the Rocky Leagues Club. And I'll go over and out of the main grandstand here in the Jack Crow stand. But, Walson, thanks very much for joining us tonight. It's been a pleasure, a great game to call. Yeah, no, thanks, Cam. I really uh, really appreciate the opportunity to see a game like that. Um, I, I, I came along to the Mackay Cutters trial, and I was disappointed by the performance that the boys put out there. But it was a trial match, of course. But, uh, you know, they came out round one 
and uh, beat the East Tigers in a thriller and this game was equally as entertaining and um, I'm just excited about it. As a Capras fan, I'm excited about the Capras season and it's great to see so many people getting behind them. Oh, massively. The next game, as we said, next week for the A-grade boys, the EISC boys. Next Sunday at Marley Brown Oval, 11.30, ahead of the NRL Titans v. Manly match. You'll see them in action against the table-topping Burley Bears. Big clash there, but we've seen what they can do tonight and get along to Marley Brown next Sunday to cheer them all along. And for the 18s and the 20s, they'll be in action next Saturday afternoon at Webb Park in Yapoon. And they'll be taking on the Ipswich Jets in both grades. So we'll have all the action, though, live on Capras TV next Saturday and Sunday, though, if you can't get down there. But get behind your local Capras boys. It was an outstanding win tonight. And as we bid farewell to you tonight, the Capras get a win. Their season is now 2-2 two and two after defeating the Ipswich Jets 28-18. Cam Stallard and Walson Carlos signing off tonight here at Brown Park.